some of these uh, foreclosure and eviction fighters have attended Wells Fargo Home Preservation Workshops, and they report that the workshops were sparsely attended and unhelpful. In fact, in at least one case, so few people attended that the press could only interview ACE foreclosure and eviction fighters about the event. And Wells Fargo is bringing up information that is not really relevant to its record of discriminatory lending. Wells Fargo also seems to think that mentioning the diversity of its employees is relevant to respect to the re record in providing discriminatory loans to African Americans and Latino borrowers. If you have African American and Latino employees offering discriminatory loans to customers, that doesn't really make it better for the victims of discriminatory lending, does it? At the top of page three, Wells Fargo says it is offering fewer subprime loans, which is a hopeful sign, but Wells Fargo admits it has participated and is still participating in the market for such loans, even after settling with the U.S. Department of Justice and discriminatory lending practices. Even if Wells Fargo only sold 29 new, uh, 29 new households in 2011 and 14 in new households in 2012 on subprime loans, that still means 43 new households facing those predatory loans and a slew of households still doing with it, with them from originations that took place prior to 2011 without a clear commitment from Wells Fargo to make things right for these homeowners. The three paragraphs on page three that details Wells Fargo's settlement with the U.S. Department of Justice are particularly telling. Wells Fargo apparently still Three won't seconds. stand up and admit that its lending practices and financial incentives to employees and mortgage brokers <coughs> led to a pattern of discriminatory <coughs> lending practices here in San Francisco and in numerous markets nationwide. Okay. Even if it were so not possible to... Can I just finish this? Go ahead. Go ahead. Even if it were not possible to prove that Wells Fargo employee intentionally discriminated him on the basis of race and or national origin, and even if Wells Fargo hides behind language that just, quote, we rigorously deny such claims, unquote, the fact remains that Wells Fargo itself identified 3,990 African American and Latino borrowers that should have qualified for prime loans, but were offered more expensive subprime loans instead. Right. <coughs>